All right, this is uh, G Man. I'm right here with Mr. Uh, Chuck Hatcher, the legend. We're birding out at uh, the Hatcher camp. He's showing me his records right here. This is a letter from Frank Lavin saying that my birds. Is, he he wish he had some of this stock. You know what I mean? That, this is um, this is nice. This is like a real piece of history right oh, here. Oh yeah, well, I got I got something that's beautiful. That's even more archival than that. This is the the Bible right here. We yeah. call this the Bible. See, let me show you this right here. Uh, you got to go to sixty six. Yeah, that's, that's what I gotta do. I gotta okay. give me some pads like this. Start making pedigrees and shit. Damn. Okay, right, right, right here. This, this is, this is what's behind all my birds. This is, this is the heat that ain't nobody got. This is straight tail star, Norwood Loft number twenty six. I got this bird from Cornell. This is what it's out of. One nineteen five fourteen. All this shit right here, straight pencil. Damn. What happened is he gave me this fucking bird. 20, fire in the hole right th there. Th th this, this shit's unbelievable. I took this bird. Okay, this bird, 26 is out of Frank Lavin shit, the birds that he got from Bill Pinson. This bird was at Cornell's house. He didn't like the bird because it was too deep. I said, it was a blue bar cock. I took this fucking bird, and what I did is I made it uh, 26 to 235, which is straight Lopez from Cornell. This is 74, 235. And raised this little ugly fucking ass hen. Hatcher loft number 58, a dark checker. I put mm. her back on her father and it raised this bird, 66. How was 60. that bird in the air? This bird was the deepest, most frequent bird I've ever seen in my life, okay? This bird number 66 is behind every fucking bird in this whole fucking law. So that, that bird, this, is this, it this still bird, alive to this no, day? Or no, this bird is long gone. This bird right here was made it, was made it to a, a bunch of different shit. And then I started breeding this shit to itself and, and I inbred it too, too much and locked all the roll up. And then when Javi got here, we started putting all this 66 blood on all this Lopez shit, 1061. Here's Bert. You ever heard of 88.99? Yeah, I heard of that. That's 88.99 right there. 88.99. Okay, look. This, I, this this is a history right here. Let me show all the folks here. Yeah. The classic right here. You got. Okay, 88.99 was the famous Compton cock. Okay, 88.99 was sold when Howard McCulley died. Howard McCulley raised this bird. 88.99. Yeah, he's been around. When he too. died, uh, Doug Thorley got his birds. Doug Thorley put 88.99 on 60.18, which was raised about, which was out of 145, and he raised 10.61. Frank Lavin, no, yeah, Frank Lavin put no Doug Thorley, who did this? No, Frank Lavin put 10.61 on 25.24 and raised. That's what's behind 26, the father to 66. Okay. Keep all this original. Oh yeah. So, but, but, but here, here's the, here, here's what, here's where it gets funny. The famous Compton cock was uh, this bird. Doug Thorley raised this bird. Well, this guys were rednecks, okay. Uh -huh. And what happened was the Destile, Byron Destile, went up north and bought this fucking bird, okay. Now he, this bird, that's how this bird got to Compton because they looked. They were from Louisiana. They was, they had freckles on their face. And they were redheaded. They thought they was white. That's why he got this bird. This bird was legendary in Cobb. A lot of this shit. This is the old shit that was rolling, rolling down because it was breeding it too hot. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what happened was the bird got stolen from the death styles, and Cornell found found the bird. Okay, and he took it back to uh, desk down him, but he borrowed it. That's how he ended up getting uh, all, all this lineage out of the bird. But, Man, this is a fucking history right here, oh, all this shit th right This is basically the, the heat behind my fucking bird. And then, there's some more shit in here that's really fucking famous that don't nobody know about it. This, this, this right here will blow your mind. Let me see that uh, QSDC uh, where you're... Uh, where your picture is at, the one that uh, I was just looking at, so. Oh yeah. The flyer, so I can show these uh, 
no, catch gonna, when I'm I uh, post this you, video. I'm gonna show you something else. That uh, Mr. Chuck Hatcher uh, been in the game for a long time. That's him right there. Yeah. Doing it big. Now he's ready. He's coming. So you motherfuckers better watch out. Got the fire in the hole. Now this right here really blows. It said Norwood's in here, yeah, the original yeah. Norwood right there. He's in the picture with them. This right here, this is this is from Frank Lavin, okay? Last time I talked to Frank, this right here nobody knows about. This right here, my man, will blow your mind. This is the only document. This is called the Three, the three Saturday document. Frank Lavin went to Pinson's house and for three Saturdays in a row, took or orientation from Bill Pinson and they wrote this fucking pedigree. This 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 Damn. goes back to my birth. This shit is like this handwriting right here. This is Bill Pinson's hammer. This little black handwriting. This is original document. Pinson's records were stolen. There nobody Damn. has nothing with Bill Pinson's handwriting on it. But this right here is the three Saturday document. This goes all the way back. This is behind my birds. Damn. Frank Lavin gave me this fucking sheet of paper because he don't even have shit related to this anymore. So Frank Lavin's kind of like one of the guys that actually Frank, started you out, Frank, right? Yeah, Frank Lavin is the absolute guru of the bird, of, of top of the food chain in the bird world today. So if you got anything from him, that's that straight, stuff, huh? that straight pencil. And this right here is the last, the only, because pencil's records were stolen. This is the only document with Pinson's handwriting on it. This, this is in his hand. Yeah, because most of the birds, like we were talking about, are all shelled out. Nobody, yeah. everybody uh, petered them out. That's why we, that's why they call this the three socks, the three Saturday document. That's tight. That's tight. So, as far as like your 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 breeding your breeding program, like uh, like how many pairs do you usually? Uh, I breed out of you, fifty pairs when I breed. Fifty pairs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so you ain't fucking around when it comes to uh, oh, no, man. This is building a kit. Right. That's really nice. Yeah, I was on my way back and I had to stop by uh, Mr. Chuck Hatcher. Just me and my little Chihuahua. She's <laughs> actually in the car, but I gotta take her pee in a bit. <laughs> I didn't want to bring her down because I don't want the pit bull to eat her. But I just had to come bird out with Mr. Hatcher because uh, my wife, she's on her way back from Arizona. So I said, might as well bird out. We're at the famous uh, Mr. Chuck Hatcher camp. Yeah, that's something to do. You gotta get you some cameras right here. I, I put some camera. up on my house. I got a camera. Put a couple right there. I got the app on my phone. Shit, I paid a hundred bucks for my cameras. I got them set up all over. But I'm trying to buy my house so that way I can start making some big ass cages like this and shit. That's that's like motivation. Yeah. You gotta get set up right, man. That's the only way. You want to kind of show me your, your kit burst? Like a little. Yeah, here's, here's a little. So, what are your plans for 2021? Well, I'm going to try to breathe. This kid was There's fucking. Fire in the hole right here. Kid was ass off. Uh, the best kid I ever seen. You got some nice, really beautiful birds. And these are not even breeders, these are just right. flyers. Really, really, really nice. Check this little group out in here. You got a lot of black and whites. That's that, that's you that little that, You got bald heads. I like your perches. I gotta build me some like that. That's nice. I like the fucking screening on the bottom too. Oh yeah. It's clean. You gotta be set up, man. So you flying four kits? Five kits? Well, I ain't flying no kits right now, but when I come back out, I'm gonna try to fly as many as many kits as I can. Yeah, that shit's tight. You gotta that have breeding tight. power. Stall bread. Oh yeah, that so shit's tight. I got, I got like five, eight packs. What happened to that lavender you had last time? That badass one. That one you were flying last time? You said you were flying? Oh man, it's been, it been so many all-stars, man. And then just check it out right in here. So what do you look for in a bird? When you actually, when you, when you put a pair together, what do you look for, like in, in the quality of the birds? All kind of stuff, mostly, mostly a, a tail feather. The bird got to have the proper brakes, you know what I mean? But you don't want. You no check big, like. Uh, you don't want that big tail, that big okay. tail. Yeah, yeah, because I know a lot of guys that, when that, they pull a bird out, like 
what, what's your prime example of like uh, what a good quality bird looks like? Oh, right here. And they got a lot of apple body and shit. Oh, man, to oh, that's fucking. Look at that, man. That bird, Woo! That bird rolls like 175 feet. Fire in the hole. That's the beautiful. And what I like about your birds is they're not big, they're not small, they're medium. Right. And they look at that eye on that bird. Uh, that bird that bird's a champion. He's got the chest, the wing. You know how to. You know how to breed and and no, select? Not really. Not really. I've just been in the game and had, happened to have a good old stock that nobody has that tail. So I'm going to tell you, I, I put all my fucking... Uh, that bird is fucking super. All, all my success to Javi's breed. Javi's hobby's amazing. I got to do an interview with him. Yeah. So what is this right here? Is this like your cocks, your hands? These, these are cocks, these are hands. This is a breakup here. But see, all my breeding shit over here, man, is... Uh, are you planning to put some uh, oh, yeah. some See, pairs down? Yeah. For the two thousand. I got, I got I got capacity for fifty pairs in here. Oh, this is tight. Yeah, I just put them. in That's what I'm thinking of buying. Yeah, just you, you know, there's a place it. they the guy say in L.A. It's called AJ's uh, Pet Supply. They sell these for one forty, dude. Really though. One forty. I think I paid three hundred fifty dollars a piece. For yeah, one of the guys. Uh, this and guy. I fucked up, and I built my loft, man. I built it. 12 feet from outside to outside. I should have built a 12 feet from inside the studs to inside studs. That way I had to make me a custom one to fit between them. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking that far. Either. This is nice, though. But I wouldn't. I, it's this, been years since I've been here. I remember last yeah. time you had a bunch of pears and shit in here. Well, it's been to be and then you have like this right here so it can't fly out. Yeah. So that's pretty tight. Well, this is going to be a bunch of pears. This is 50. When I load all this up, it's 50 pears. I think I'm gonna buy me one of these. I, I, I give you the information. It's called AJ. Yeah, you got a stall. You got a stall breed. Yeah, it's called AJ La. So what do you do with all those old ass ones that are like they, they super here. old? They in here. Like that lavender. He looks like he's really old. Yeah. Or is he just molting? It's a bunch. It's a bunch of old motherfuckers in here. This bird here. I'll be like this bird. I don't know where this fucking color came from. Oh, that shit. fucker's bad. That's like a lavender almond. I never yeah. seen one of those. You start getting all kinds of colors out of it. But this is all my birds. Telstar mixed into Lopez. Now, I'm going to show that's you. that's tight. Come over here. You can see what... Huh? You gone? Okay, man. I, I can't stand up with you. At the Chuck Hatcher camp. Check this out. These are all hobbies. You have a good one, sir. You too. Good to meet you. All See, his birds look a little different than mine. Oh, these are his. This is, yep, this is none, none of my stock. What line is he? Oh, oh man, his shit goes back to Joe Howden. It's pencil. Joe, Joe Howden bird. Is he, uh... See, like, I don't, I don't have no tortoises and shit like that. Every last one of these birds got a blue JPL band on it. Nice. But none of his shit got caught across in to my shit. These are his too. So this is like a holdover or like a stock pin? Well, we just holding them right now, man. Because and these are his too? No, those those are mine. Some oh, raggedy this... motherfuckers. Man, oh. I can breathe. Like, you can see the quality is not that good. Drop oh. wings and shit. A lot of what do you think wings. about the drop wings? What does that mean? Like, well, Because I have a bird like that, a black well, one. Some of them drop wing birds are badass. You know what yeah. I mean? Usually, they, drop, they all get drop wing when they get pinned. Don't, and are not flown. Yeah. So, so, Javi, is he uh, flying competition too, or? Well, everybody's in a funk right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's see, here's the see. Okay, look. These are articles. The Don Munson article. Okay, wait a minute, right here. This is important. 
Let's see what five we're gonna find. Okay, five fourteen mating ever. NBRC sixty four two twenty. NBRC sixty four sixty nine still alive in mild, in nineteen eighty. This is the Don Don Hearns in Richmond, California article. Okay, here's here's what people don't know. Produced. A lot of those guys have good birds. Twelve thirty three. Okay, bred bred by William H. Pensum, now in my law of NBRC sixty two. Okay, here it is. NBRC 62, 2355, Telstar, possibly the deepest 514 hen and very prolific producer. Okay, all my shit goes back to, to this bird, right? This bird is in, the, is, in, is in these pedigrees. Remember this band number, uh, the Telstar hen. Wait a minute, Where, where'd it go? Okay, no, okay, right here. Now, I'm, NBRC 62, 2355, Telstar. 62, 2355. And those are some okay, old here you go. pedigrees. That's, that's what I gotta do. I got some of the old Norm Marine I'm gonna start uh, documenting these birds and shit. So to create a good family of birds, like, what do you recommend, like, keeping like 20 pairs, 10 pairs to start off? It's, um, start it's, it's, not, it's not about quantity, man. It's all yeah. about, it's about the quality and what the birds come from. So you fly them before you stock anything, right? Well, sometimes, sometimes I stock them out the nest, depends on. I'm trying to find this band number. Wait a minute. Okay, right here, bro. NBRC 62, 2355. This is the Telstar hen. Damn. It's out of 224 and 514. You see what I'm saying? Bill Pensum made this bird. Fucking A. This, this is, this is the best. Right this, this right here might, might be the best roller. This was not for sale at any price. That's what was behind 8899. You see what I'm saying? That's why this bird was so prolific, because it was, it produced a lot of birds in Compton. Everybody went crazy over it, but they never knew. And this is the shit that was in Pensum's Law that was not for sale at any price. This is what's behind that blue bar cot. This bird, this bird, one fucking bird is in all of my fucking birds. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's, it, 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 people ain't hip to that Telstar shit. Nobody has it. So it's not really jammed up as, as far as like jammed up, jammed up, but I mean- it's, I jammed it up. All okay. these old guys fuck up. Either they get rid of birds, chase somebody else's birds, they take a good bird and they jam it up trying to be a purist. That's what I did. I, so, I jammed it up and locked the bird. I had nothing but a uh, 66 was a blue check white flight hen. That bird turned me out still to this day. I took that bird and I made it to birds related to it. I had a whole kit because I was a purist. When, yeah. I, when I got here, I had a tool shed. And I just, I, I tried to breed and they wouldn't breed. Yeah. I fucking got crazy. I said, oh my God, these birds are almost extinct. This was 20 years ago. I snatched down all the fucking partitions and let them go. And I raised all these birds that look just like 66. Blue check, white flags with the little white speed mark. Oh, nice. Okay. That's the history. When Javi got here, I explained him that shit. Some of them birds didn't come in until they were four and five years old. That's, that's unheard of. Yeah. They tumbled for four or five years, and all of a sudden, they, they fucking rolled 160, 170 feet. Never rolled up. Okay, them birds, I, I, I told Harvey the whole story. I let them birds out, all blue checkers. And they were flying off fast and down to the ground like fucking race homers. It was terrible. Yeah. And Harvey was like, what the fuck is wrong? I said, man, I'm telling you, it's roll personified. He said, yeah. I said, I know what's wrong with these birds. You fucking inbred these birds. I said, yeah, I wasn't crossing that shit to nothing. He said, Chuck, you got to go out and come back in. And I said, man, and then the birds was getting old. We took them birds and crossed them to the Lopez shit. And that's when all the colors started coming and my birds started fucking rolling their asses off and changing. You got a nice balance now. So I fucked up. I you fucked got up. Really and, nice. How he unfucked me and, 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 and preserved these motherfuckers before they got too extinct. You see what I'm saying? 
that's what happened here, man. And you know what? That's if, tight. If I ever win the World Cup, I'm going to have him engrave Hobby's name on the motherfucker. He's kind of like a mentor, basically. Oh, is this is this his stuff? Are these his birds, too? Oh, okay. Got some nice... uh, Some... Some badges, some blue bars. What are the green bands? Is that your band or is that his band? You know what? I haven't seen an aluminum band like that for a long ass fucking time. Yeah. That's original. They don't make that shit anymore. No. That's crazy. This is tight. I gotta I gotta build me one of these. That's the story, man. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit up here. And say I'm the man. I did it all because I tell you, Arnold Jackson. These guys had good birds, but they all got frustrated with that old shit. And see, look, I'm like this man. I keep shit so long. A lot of people keep shit so long <laughs> where it's junk. Yeah. I keep shit even farther than that till it ends up being worth something. I got old carpenter tools. Old fuck, old albums. I got shit that's fucking priceless. You know what I'm Classic saying? Classic shit. Yeah, the vinyl. Yeah. And I tell you, man, these birds is a serious story. That's why they they, they want to get out here and talk to me, man. Because uh, if, my, if, if my birds were ever fucking stolen, I would get out of birds. I cannot buy birds better than I already have. I already know that. That's why I'm a lifer. No, it's like you devoted a lot of time into it. Yeah, and, and I tell you, man, Hobby is the one. This is what Cornell should have been doing. I tell you, man, I went to his fucking house when I was 14 years old, Cornell, and seen Norwood Loft number 26 under the nest box in the breeding loft. Wasn't made it to nobody. And I said, what's up with that bird? You know what Cornell told me? He said, oh, that's fucking dynamite. You don't have nothing to do with that. I said, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> reached underneath there and gave me that bird. Now, he also gave me a pair, 1171-231, which was straight pencil bird. Nice. I went home and I bred, I kept those pairs together. I had a whole kit, whole brothers and sisters out of them birds. Them is the kit, and when I lived in LA, that niggas was lined up in my driveway. Damn. Every, at three o'clock when I get home from work to see that bird fly. Damn. Okay. okay, and they screamed and hollered. But they were deep, but they were slow roll. They were rollers. They weren't spinners. They rolled kind of It wasn't the you understand? Yeah. And they was going crazy over that because they was always bumping, okay? Well, check it out, dude. Cornell was kind of a pimp, okay? And he was a little older than me. So anything that, that I bred that came out looking good, he'd always peel back from me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I raised 66 and seen that blue check shit rolling, that shit turned me out. He, ne I never, I zipped the lip. I never said shit about that. It was trying to peel that back. And so that's what I hid from everybody. But they was going crazy over that 1171, 231 shit. Okay. All that shit is gone out of my law. You see what I'm saying? Because it was, t it was, yeah, it was deep and it was, and it was, they rolled straight. But they weren't fucking spinning. But that's basically how I got my fame from everybody watching that kid in the late 70s and the 80s, that 1171, 231. And all that stuff is behind your birds right now. No, that shit is gone. Oh, okay, okay. The 66 shit, them blue checkers. Yeah. Them is the birds that I didn't never say nothing to Corner because I didn't want them peeling them. They, didn't, they weren't lookers, but that was the deepest, fastest, hardest roll I ever seen in my life. Damn. And that's why I went crazy perpetuating that shit. Yeah. And then uh, when I came here, they was already old. And then they got locked up in that tool shed. Yeah. And then I said, I, I can't let this shit die. Because I knew that was was that, that was Telstar. How many years can a bird still breed? I mean, oh, even... man, after about the 13th year. So, if, like, you got a 2010, he could still pump? Maybe. Okay. See what, I'm what about plucking their ass? I heard that that yeah, works open too. Yeah, up the vent bones so they can get in there. Yeah, that, that helps. And some but vitamins. The, the, the hemp, the hemp is make makes them go too. I'm gonna have to so, try all that. But anyway, back to that story. Now, here's where I fucked up. Trying to be a purist. It's easy. It's easy to fuck up. 
And if you admit being a fuck up, you're a better man for it. Everybody wants to be this fucking guru, fucking, you know, Mr. Fucking yeah. Magic. <laughs> you can't do it. Yeah. It's just hard to do. But well, you know, you're a pigeon racer. Yeah. Well, what happened is I bred the 66 shit to the 66 shit. I'm like, this is this is the, the key. They don't get no better than this. And then that's how I ended up with the fast racing homer flying motherfuckers that they were flying. Oh, shit. And, they, and Hobby said, this is ridiculous. He said, I see these birds. They got roll in them. I, I signed and everything. He said, but they're too jammed up. The roll is locked up. That's why these fucking birds is coming in four and five years. And I'm like, dude, is that what? He says, man, you fucked up, Chuck. And then we started looking at these birds, and they were all old. He said, man, we got to fucking get busy. Yeah. So we crossed the shit on my Lopez shit, which is the, is the Norwood shit. Henry Lopez, that's the fastest, speediest shit ever. And then he started fucking, he, Javi was putting fucking two blue checks, dark checker self together, getting models and shit. Wow. I'm like, what the fuck? That's in the background, probably he carried look, the loop. He would, he would look in the ring, in the wing, the primaries, and see little red tinges in the blue feathers. Yeah. He said, this bird will throw red. And I'm like, you gotta be crazy. I start, he started breeding me models and shit. And then we know it wasn't no funny business because they was all stall bred. Yeah. And I'm like, holy fuck. So we opened up, oh, the, shit. opened up the color balance, started changing. And then I had one bird, the 11 cop, that Cordell gave me. That's a straight pencil. That bird fucked up half of my motherfucking law. Because he had a big fucking open fucking tail. Oh, and shit. And that bird was had so much blood behind him. But I was breeding that motherfucker. And everything out of him had these big fucking open fucking tails. And Harvey's like, we got to get rid of that shit. So we started selectively breeding, and he closed them fucking tails down to fucking single feather tails. Nice. Javi did that shit. And then we basically got rid of all the 11 shit is gone. Only thing here is that tail star, that blue check blood, crossed it to the Lopez shit. The depth and the speed. Then the birds started changing in shape and form and everything. And I'll tell you, that last kit right there that I showed you was the best kit I ever seen in my life anywhere at anybody's house. Damn. And I stopped flying the motherfuckers in, in, in 2018. Yeah, it looks like you got like you got hit because like uh you would normally have like 25 birds in there, huh? Yeah. On each side. Well see all them so when I go back together, all them birds in that pen is gonna get stopped. Every fucking last Start making a new team, huh? Uh, yeah, see they're 18. So I'm good to go. You got a you got a bunch of uh kit boxes ready to go. Oh, I'm ready. I'm set up. All I got to do. And you got the you got the firepower to start, uh, you know. You got to have breeding power. You got a lot of birds to put down to make yourself a that's new a I couple too, teams. That's why I ain't too worried about going extinct cuz I got some young stock birds. In other words, I'm good. I can sit tight right now. Yeah. So when them motherfuckers was in that tool shed, yeah. I was this close to being extinct. Damn. And you know what? Here's the thing. Had I bred, put them together, that the ones that would breed, if I'd have done it, I'd have bred more of the same. They were because they were on their last leg. And thank God, Javi said, "Man, let me do this shit." And he changed. So therefore, when they came out of extincthood, they were crossed properly. You understand? Me? Yeah. And out. Yeah. And we went back. You're bred right. And through all these ten years, that we have been intensifying that Telstar blood. You understand? Yeah. No place on the planet. Is this fucking Telstar shit? They don't have it, man. That's just badass. Yeah, I see the the actual the the brightness that he had brought out from breeding these birds. He's a he brought breeder. he brought out all kinds of Kill shit. Me. That's the kind of guy I need to, to in my life to show me how to do some shit like that. As far as I'm concerned, that dude is the modern day pencil. People don't even and I know him. When I lived in Lake New Terrace, he was a kid coming to my house. He lives right around here, no? He lives right around right two, two or three streets over. Okay. But he's a self-taught motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, people have no idea. What is he raising right now? Like his birds look like that pen I showed you right there. This is some of his old birds I'm just holding for. How many birds is, does he usually like mess with? Well, he breeds out of about 20 pairs, and then he flies for a while. He, dude, all kind of shit's happened. He, he went through problems over there. Mother-in-law died. Oh, that sucks. It, it, this shit, your pigeon raising experience is going to be mixed in with life's drama. Yeah, yeah. And that's why this shit, the shit is hard enough as if, if you was a lottery winner and had $20 million in the bank, 
you'd still be struggling trying to raise good pictures. Oh, yeah. I, if you're a regular motherfucker like you and me. I'm going through some shit. My wife is telling me. Horses and shit. She's all like, birds better be gone by the time I get back. I go, no, I'm not getting rid of the birds. I said, we can work something out. I'll get rid of a few, but it's like a, it's like I got, I don't want to get rid of anything. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of any. I'm like you. Once I got them, I got an attachment. I don't want to get them. I actually want to get more, but I can't because I don't have the capacity. But I mean, that's, that's all I'm trying to buy my house. By next year and shit. Yeah, it's a process, man. Well, well, I'll tell you, man. Child support almost took me down. I was paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for years. Oh my god! I almost went That's what my brother's going through. That's what was a motherfucker, man. Well, I'm gonna sign out. Uh, Mr. Hatcher, we're gonna say peace. All you guys, uh, I hope you guys uh, got some good, uh, some good feedback. Learn how to select your birds, pick your birds breed find a, a proper mentor to put you in the right direction there's one thing i learned from hobby you put two birds together and you look at the stance to uh, analyze the balance i never knew this i learned this from him which he's, he's taught himself this you know how some birds the tail they, they stand and they kind of go up yeah and then some go down he never puts birds together two uppies or two downies it's always an up bird with a to down. balance it out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I never tripped on it. It's that like before. a big bird, like what Sam Smitty was saying. A big bird and a small bird, you put them together. And the female, they say that the female actually, uh, she's the one that produces the body type. Right. That's what I was hearing. Yeah. So. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I sign it. And, uh, chest, head, head confirmation, all that, wings, all that shit. It's all a lot yeah. of detail shit. But that that uppy and the downy, I was not hip to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you gotta know how to select these pairs before you put them down. My body styles, my tails change, my body styles change, my color change, the head confirmations change. Everything's uh, changed. Everything, they start looking like fucking champions. All of them. Oh no, no, I see that they look fucking beautiful. That's what I'm trying to accomplish with my shit. Yeah. I'm going to see how it goes from the there. The birds, basically, right now, with my stock that I have, my prospective stock birds, are too valuable to fly. I can't have nothing happen to them. Yeah, you got the fucking birds start, of prey all around. Yeah, when I start pumping them out, if I get picked down 300 a year and still have a kid to fly, I ain't worried about it because I got my goal is to keep the birds of high quality and keep somebody managing them properly. You yeah, see, I struggle. Someone that knows together. how to fly them and breed them. Well, and, I can do, well you're yeah. you know well, busy. I, I just have hobby helping me with with my breeding because I don't want to get you. Th you fuck this up, there are no more left. That's why yeah. I sell birds because the people were taking home and crossing with their best shit, which is horse shit. Yeah. And, and, and in other words, to do to, to, to really fucking fuck, you have to get like five or six pairs from me. You know what I'm saying? And keep them birds all together and breed them properly. And start a foundation that way. Yes, exactly. You can't. Don't be bringing no other boo boo shit involved. You can't use this to sweeten up something else. Exactly. That's how you start a family with just one one family of birds and not bringing an L cross in. Right. You just keep breeding it and breeding it. And you got to know how to breed it too, right? Since 1985 are shit birds. Norm Reed bred all that frequency in those fucking birds. And after a while, they fly for two or three years, and then they just fucking stop rolling. That's why everybody got out of the Norm Reed birds. What about the Higgins birds? What do you think about those? I mean, they're the same shit, kind of, well, but he just bred them differently is what... Yeah. Uh, anything that goes in unison excites people. You can't get excited because they all fucking bumped. You got to look at the style, the speed, and the depth of the roll. Exactly. You see what 